BoxerVoice.com, live with Marcus Brown, 2012 Olympia. Marcus, what's going on today, man? How you feeling? I'm good, ready to go to work tomorrow. That's it. Uh, what do you know about your opponent? He's a righty, he's 31, uh, and he's, he's a man with, with, with male parts. What sort of performance are you expecting to put on tomorrow? I mean, you're here, hometown of New York City. No pressure. No pressure. I'm just going to go out there and do what I do, have fun, and, and, and put on the show. That's it. That's what we do. They're moving you along pretty quick. I mean, ever since you turned pro, you, you know, you're, you're getting in and out of action easily, and a lot of your fights have been on television. Are, are you content with the way things are moving along? I mean, of course, we're never content. You know, everything, things could always be better, but at the end of the day, I mean, I appreciate my manager, Al Hammond, for looking out, and I mean, I'm just, I just got to do my job. That's win, and look good doing it. Looking over the lightweight division, I mean, where do you see yourself in the next two years? As long as God keep me healthy and I stay focused, mentally focused, uh, I mean, the, the, the world is my oyster, you know what I'm saying? We're just ready, just ready to fight whoever, it don't matter, we're ready for whoever. Green belt. Now, being as though that you're starting your career at lightweight, how long do you think you can campaign at the, excuse me, light heavyweight? Uh, I mean, I make weight practically fine, no problems with me. So, I mean, we're we, we going to be here for a while. So you could basically cap out your career at this weight? Uh, I don't know what I don't know what the Lord has in store for me, so I can't I can't you know predict the future. I'm just here taking it one day at a time. Any words for your your hometown fans of Staten Island? Um, not just Staten Island, New York overall. I mean, I mean you know I thank everybody for you know tuning in to what Marcus Brown is doing, and I appreciate the love and the support. Uh, last but but last but not least, um, just just because you know Hurricane Sandy's not on the news and all that stuff. That doesn't mean that people still aren't homeless, homeless and stuff like that because there's a lot of people that lost everything. You know what I mean? So just don't forget about those people. All right, thank you very much. Good luck on your fight.